Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over the basics of drawing floor plan walls. Let's dive right into it. So the first thing we're going to go over is wall spacing. So generally walls, interior walls, are spaced at 4 inches and exterior walls are spaced at 6 inches. If you're new to AutoCAD and you don't know what you're doing, click the link in the top right hand corner and that'll bring you to our AutoCAD 15 minute tutorial and then come back here and check this out. So we're going to start drawing our exterior walls in a moment. So the first thing you want to do is you want to change units. If you don't know how to do that, we have a video on that as well. You can see that in the top right hand corner. Uh, but just take these settings that I have, set it to this, and then we're going to be on the same page. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and get our polyline. So just go and select polyline, click somewhere where you want to start drawing, and then we're going to draw 10 feet. We're just going to keep this simple and we're going to have it at 90 degrees. So the way you rotate between, you know, the um, the degrees, the angle, and the length is you press tab. Uh, just something to keep in mind so that way you can just type things in. Once you've selected that, you can see that our line straightens out quite nicely. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go 10 feet in this direction as well. We're just going to keep it a square to keep it simple. We want it at zero degrees, so that's okay. And then we're going to come down here and you can do the same thing. You can say 10 feet, 90 degrees, or you can come here go over and then you can see that if we draw draw from both of our uh, corners that it'll create this these green outlines that create this box now if it's not happening for you I'm just gonna go and complete the structure for a minute just go and click over if it's not doing that for you just come down here where my cursor is and you're gonna see there's this there's all these selections you have here these are the ones I keep on when I'm doing AutoCAD uh, if you are having issues with following along then go pause the video make sure your settings are the same as mine right here and then we'll continue and then that way you won't have any issues so what we can do now is we can either draw four inches away from this wall or into this wall depending on what you want to create our actual wall or what we can do is we can offset now if you don't know how to offset I have another video on top five best commands for AutoCAD just go click on that the first one is going to be for the setting dyn mode so just go check that out that'll show you how to do it I'm just trying to make this video as short as possible so what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to type in offset once you have that command click offset and we're going to want to specify our offset distance so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do through and then once you have through press enter we're going to select the object that we want and then we're going to specify how far we want it to be so as we said before exterior walls tend to be six inches so you can see here that my my size here is selected you can see that it's highlighted what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to press six and then inches and then once that's done press enter and you're going to see it offset it in six inches um, i offset it in you can offset it out if that's what you want but for the sake of this tutorial we're doing it for the from the inside so what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to draw our interior walls. So the next thing we're going to do is our interior walls, as I previously said. And I'm just going to say again that you can do this multiple different ways. I'm just going to show you how I do it. You do have to do cleaning up and such when you're doing this. I'm only going to do a corner of the building because this is a very small building. Um, you can take these principles, though, and apply them to a wide variety of structures, such as barns, you know, actual houses instead of just little sheds. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come here to our polyline. We're going to want to find the center of our building here because let's say I want, I don't know, I want uh, a room to store my lawnmower in or something. So we're just going to click on the center because that's what I want. And then we're going to come to the center, so four feet, six inches. We're going to click there and then we're going to bring this over and meet it with our other line. So we kind of have an outline of our room. Now, another thing you can do is if you want a little storage area off to the side here is you can come, you can just draw a line here. And that's, it's that simple to draw um, rooms and things in AutoCAD. So again, what we have to do is we have to offset this. Now, notice how before I set this in the middle, um, I probably should have offset it a little bit, so a few inches if I wanted it actually centered. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to make it as simple as possible. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to offset. So again, it's going to be sim similar to what we did with our exterior walls, but we need to determine, well, which way do we want it to offset? Um, in this case, we're going to want to offset it, I think, to the left, because then that way we have more space on the inside of our um, room here. So what we're going to do, again, is we're going to go to Offset. We're going to press Enter. We're going to specify the distance, click Enter. Um, we're going to select our object, and then we're going to go by to 4 inches. We're going to do that, and you can see that it's already done that. Now we're also going to do this one here. I'm going to offset it in this direction, so I'm going to type 4 inches once again. 
and we were pretty much right on the spot with that one. So you can see we have our interior walls kind of made and we have our exterior walls. Now, when you're doing windows and things like that, uh, again, we have another tutorial on this. It's already been covered. I'm not going over it in this video. This is just for walls. You'll see that in the top right hand corner. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to trim this up and make it look pretty. So what you're going to want to do is type in trim. Again, make sure you have the command. Go to your trim command. Click on all the things you want to get rid of. We're going to do that. So we're getting rid of all of these little areas here. And you can see we have our rooms. Now, again, I don't have doors. I don't have windows or anything because that's, again, in another tutorial. This is just to kind of help you figure out how to get a floor plan started and how to do walls. Um, so this is going to be a running series we're going to be doing in the next few weeks about AutoCAD. So today we're dealing with walls, and then next week we're going to be dealing with walls and elevations and doing a little bit of math because we're trying to get into more advanced features of AutoCAD, and hopefully you guys like that. So thanks for coming this far in the video. If you haven't already, check out the masterclass down in the description, and we'll see you next week.